Hey everyone, I'm Peter Bermel. I'm here to talk about the fiber optic communications course that's coming out in edX very soon. So why should you be interested? Because it's the backbone of the internet and one of the most impressive technical accomplishments of the human race. So I'm an associate professor of electrical and computer engineering at Purdue, and I focus on improving the performance of nonlinear optical systems. And I've been widely published in scientific peer review journals, as well as uh, publications for the general public. And I've even built tools that are freely available on NanoHub to understand the principles of optics. So what will you learn in the course? Uh, there will be a refresher on the basic uh, components that go into fiber optic communication system. And then you'll learn how these components interact in order to form a useful system. And then the most unique part about the course will be an outlook for future research in uh, understanding the capabilities of fiber optics as they can be improved and even extended to new types of capabilities like quantum security. In terms of the course structure, there are five units. The first unit will talk about the basics of optical fibers, including nonlinearity, dispersion, and loss. The second unit will talk about the basic components on both ends of the fiber, the transmitters and receivers, including the sources such as lasers, modulation, and the speed of the modulation. And then in unit three, we'll talk about the fundamental concepts of the optical communication networks, which include input and output powers, noise, signal to noise ratios, and the speed of the overall system. In unit four, we'll be talking about current optical communication network architectures, which particularly include time division and wavelength division multiplexing, which are very widely deployed today, as well as SONNET, SDH, and other major network uh, protocols. In unit five, the last unit, we'll talk about future optical networks that are emerging, both in terms of improved capabilities of the existing networks, such as fiber to the home, as well as new capabilities, such as quantum key distribution, which creates security. So finally, who should take fiber optic communications? Uh, so first of all, if you're a student who wants to understand how the internet works, and you're familiar with basic optics and differential equations, you should take this course. If you're a researcher and you're interested in understanding and developing new concepts for optical communications, you need this course so you can understand the foundations upon which you can build your research. Finally, if you are a working professional aiming to develop or sell products for communication networks, this course will provide the foundational understanding you'll need to enter the market successfully. Look forward to seeing you in the course.